Infectious bugs are getting stronger and more resistant to drugs. Because of that, a British government commissioned review released Thursday says these superbugs could lead to more than 10 million deaths and a $100 trillion global economic impact by 2050. The review states about 700,000 people die from antimicrobial resistant bugs each year right now, but that could grow to 10 million people, more than the number of people who die from cancer if action isn't taken. The study started in July and was led by Jim O'Neill, a former Goldman Sachs chief economist. O'Neill was selected by United Kingdom Prime Minister David Cameron. The review looked at three bacteria already showing concerning levels of resistance, Klebsiella pneumonia, E. coli, and Staphylococcus aureus and three public health issues in HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria for which resistance is already a concern. Something like this, which is going to affect everybody, you know, it could have a devastating impact on, on international trade and travel and globalization. After the findings were released, British Prime Minister David Cameron made a call to action, saying if we fail to act, we are looking at an almost unthinkable scenario where antibiotics no longer work and we are cast back into the dark ages of medicine. And much of the blame for these bugs gaining resistance seems to be getting put on an overprescription of drugs. People who are waiting for joint replacement, transplant surgery, cesarean section, those are high risk operations for infections mm -hmm. afterwards. So if we don't have antibiotics that work anymore, that's serious stuff. It means we can't do those operations. The review focuses on the world's two most populated countries, India and China, as some of the most egregious offenders of overprescription. O'Neill says a global effort is needed to fight these resistant bugs and is calling for new drugs to be developed. For Newsy, I'm Matt Morano.